in my eighth year here at Montverde now, it's our eighth trip to the Nationals, and every year it's been incredibly competitive. We've had the, the great fortune to win, you know, four uh, of the last six. And with that being said, almost any time you've won, you probably could have lost one of those games in, within the tournaments. When we talk about the field this year, I mean, the number one through four teams in the country, you also have four other teams that will probably be all ranked in the top 15. So you have eight of the top 15 teams and the top four in the nation. So this is a spectacular field. A lot of uh, McDonald All-Americans on different teams, a lot of talent, a lot of uh, quality coaching. So we know we have our hands full, but we're anticipating a great competition and look forward to the challenge. You know, people ask us how, how we've been able to be so, uh, have such success over the last several years. First, I had the good fortune of being able to attract good players to Montverde by having a beautiful campus, by having great discipline in the school and, and, and in our basketball program. So I think that's one of the big reasons for the success. Our, you know, biggest accomplishments are when Chris Eggy was the commencement speaker at Harvard, one of our players, not only going to Harvard, ended up being a commencement speaker. And then again, I think without question, winning three consecutive national championships and having two national player of the years, I, you know, that's, those are things that you're starting to take for granted, but you might do this for another 30 years and not have another one of either. A commencement speaker at Harvard, a national champion or a national player of the year, and we've had our share of all recently and the good fortune. So we just gotta, you know, thank God and keep working.